Wilfred Bungay, I would say, uh, is a simple guy, but more important at the moment now, um, I would say uh, I'm more of a business person than an athlete that I've been known for many years. My, my day starts, you know, very early in the morning, and, uh, you know, it starts with uh, waking up, having breakfast, taking uh, things to the hotel, you know, looking at the business, and then uh, after watching the business and say, making sure that everything is in order, uh, the next thing is, you know, I spend time with family and most of my afternoons at the moment now, you know, I spend uh, playing golf. And then of course, you know, I come in the evening, watch a few movies before I retire to bed. When did Bungay stop running and what has he been doing over the years that he stopped running? Um, let me say this, that I did not stop running actually, uh, because as we speak, I do run business, uh, I do run activities, you know, in the farm, which, as I said, again, you know, it's not about stopping running, but actually in the field of athletics, I stopped running about three years ago, that is 2010, uh, because I realized that it was my time for me to hang the boots in the field of athletics and do something else. For me, my career, um, I would say, I took steps in my life. I never took a lift. And I say this because, you know, it took me more than 10 years from the time that I started as a junior uh, athlete to running as a senior athlete where uh, it culminated in uh, getting a gold medal in, in the Olympics in 2008. So um, I would say I don't miss at all because I achieve what every sportsman and woman would like to do, whether you play golf, whether you play tennis, whether you play uh swimming you do soccer olympics always is the best thing that you can achieve as a sports person i would say you know wisdom is more important sometimes than the knowledge that we have to go to school to get because for me i i know uh, many many times people think that okay wilfred maybe must have gone to southern college or might have even been in a new university in the u.s but for me i just finished my uh, my primary school then I went to, uh, to high school, uh, somewhere secondary school, where I, I finished in uh, my Form 4. And after that, I decided to take athletics as a career. But having said that, you know, finishing schooling, you know, did not stop me from reading and learning other things that are very important in life. And for me, I can tell you that since I retired, I've read so many books, whether it is in business or uh, fiction books, but mainly I would say I've also been reading so many autobiographies of uh, very renowned people and especially the business people. Life is not so easy, especially when you have been a very high profile athlete or any other sports person, you know, it's not an easy thing. And I would be uh, very honest with you that, you know, immediately after I retired, there was a gap in my life whereby I didn't have much to do. I will be very honest, you know, initially I was, you know, a kind of a social drinker. But it arrived at a certain point whereby it became a little bit hard and I was drinking so much. Until, um, you know, with the support of my family and uh, we realized that, okay, it's not the way to go. And therefore, uh, I decided that, okay, it's my time that I have to stop. And uh, of course, you know, it's about, you know, undergoing certain treatment which made me to realize that I cannot drink. And this is something that, to say that I am, okay, an AA member, okay? An AA member means someone that used to drink but stopped drinking. And I can assure you that I am almost one year clean. I've never uh, touched alcohol. I don't have any intention of touching alcohol because I realized that it was almost costing me my life if it was not the support of my family. And this is something that I'm proud of that I have been able to get over it and I've been able to get back my life, do things and even, you know, do it in a bigger way. What I would say that to the viewers and especially to the sports people that when we retire, um, find something to do. Um, more important, you have to know that this is part of our life, that we have to take things in a much easier way and not putting ourselves under a lot of pressure where we want to still maintain our status. Because the point is, the, the money that we used to get when we are running is not the same as the money that we get after running. And therefore, 
there is the importance of leading a simple life, if I may say so. You know, lead a simple life, that is the most important thing. I think they have always said, you know, uh, for every successful, successful man, you know, there must be a woman behind him. And for me, you know, it has been really a big blessing, you know, uh, getting the support from family whereby I have got this new Wilfred Bungay uh, from 2008. And I would always, you know, be very grateful, you know, to Josephine for what she has done for me, because at the end of the day, we realize Wilfred Bungay has to continue with his life, whether he was an athlete or not. And this is the, 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 the most important part of my life that has happened. Wilfred Bungay will go places with Tortoise Projects. And Tortoise Projects stands uh, in the hospitality industry, and we stand in the um, uh, real estate, and we are stand again in the farming. And this is where I expect that, you know, all the projects that we are doing, is going to really, really expand. This is just the beginning for big things to come.